Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here and welcome to part four of the Cosmic Cow. Our crochet along in this section we'll see another row of star stitch and then we are going to start making sunbursts. Okay, so these are ruffle stitches, so these are stitches that you've done before. As the star stitch, you've also done that before, so I hope this will be a fairly simple part for you. Let's get started. Round 54 is another star stitch round, so you already know this one. There's just more repeats this time. So starting in the chain two corner space at the end of the long row beginning of the, sorry, end of the sh long side beginning of the short side, we're going to make a standing half double crochet and chain one. Then put your hook into that chain one, pull up a loop, through the post, pull up a loop, into the chain two space, pull up a loop, into that next stitch and the next stitch. Six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all those loops and chain one loosely to form that eye and to keep this stitch nice and loose. Okay, and then it's into the eye, round that spoke, into the same stitch as the spoke, and into the next two stitches. Okay, yarn over through and chain to form the eye. Okay, so carry on. You're going to make, um, sorry, I'll just scroll the pattern up, 59 star stitches along the short side. You will then half double crochet and chain one for the corner. And remember to put your markers in that chain one space. Then on the long side, Again, you'll make a beginning star stitch where you'll start with the half double crochet and chain one, like we did here, and you'll make 67 star stitches along the long side. Okay, and then repeat that again, and then I will catch up with you for the next round. Round 55, we're going to continue with our star stitch exactly the same as we did before down here. We're going to chain one and then we're going to turn our work. Okay, so we've now got the wrong side facing us. In our chain one corner here, we're going to half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet. <coughs> Sorry, okay, Mr. J settled down again now. Okay, so we're going to skip the half double crochet, which is here, and we're going to make two half double crochet into the eye of each star stitch. Okay, so again, not into these top loops, in to the eye. Okay, so carry on around like that exactly as we did before. You're going to make two half double crochet into 68 star stitches on the long side. Remember to skip the last half double crochet 
In the chain one corner spaces, you are going to half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. Remembering, skip the half double crochet and two half double crochet in the eye of 60 star stitches on the short side. Okay, so work your way all the way round and then when you come back, you will make, let's get that tail end out of the way, two half double crochet in this last star stitch here. You will skip that half double and join to that first half double that we made, fasten off and secure your ends. Okay, double check your stitch count as you go. The easiest way to do it is to just count the number of star stitches that you've made those two half double crochets into. Okay, and I will see you for the next round. As you finish round 55, make sure that you bring your tail ends through to the back of your work. Okay, and for round 66, we are going to turn our work back to the right side. Okay, so we start in the last stitch of any short side and we're going to join with a standing double crochet. So again, remember like before, because we've turned, our top loops are now in front of the post of the stitch and not behind it. Okay, so that is the first, let me just pull that up a little bit, there we go. That's the first stitch here in front of the post of the half double, not behind it. Okay, into our chain two corner space, we are going to do two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Okay, and don't worry about having covered there because this is our first stitch in front of the post, not behind it. Okay, very simple round other than just remembering where your stitches are. Uh, you're going to double crochet in the next 138 stitches for your long side. Then again, when it comes to the short side, as you come up to the corner, remember your last stitch is going to be, the top of the stitch is after the post, not before it. So do double check your stitch count as you go. Each of your corners, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and you'll have a hundred and 38 stitches on your long side plus the two each end for the corner and 122 double crochet plus the two each end for the corners on your short side. Okay so carry on all the way around and when you finish you're going to join to this first standing double crochet with a slip stitch. Okay, I will catch up with you there. Round 57. Okay, round 57, we're going to do exactly the same as we did back here. So it's all double crochets, but we're going to skip this first stitch after the corner. So let's start with the chain three. That counts as our first double crochet. And then double crochet in those next two stitches. Okay, and that's the three that we omit from the repeat at the end. Okay, so in our chain two corner space, we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So there's two, 
chain two. And whoops. One. And two. So we're going to skip this first stitch, double crochet in the next 141. That takes us along the long side. And then exactly the same corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Skip that first stitch and you'll make 125 double crochet along the short side and then repeat again so another long side another short side okay so another really nice simple fairly quick round okay and I'll see you for the next round round 58 okay so we've done the fairly simple stuff now we start with the fun again so we're going to be sort of changing shape as we work this next couple of parts. So we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the last stitch of any long side. Okay, so right into that last stitch just before the corner space, chain two corner space. Okay, so in that chain two space, we are going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And let's turn round. Okay, so we're working along the short side first. We're going to single crochet in the next 13 stitches. Okay, so one Okay, now we begin our repeat. Okay, and we're going to do this repeat three times um, to begin with. So we are going to skip the next three stitches. And then in the next stitch, so it's into this one here, we are going to treble two together chain one four times and then treble two together again. Okay, so it's like making a skinny cluster if you like. So skip three and in that next stitch two partial trebles, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so that's our treble two together. Chain one, and we need to do that four times, so that's once. So yarn over twice into that same stitch and through two loops twice. Yarn over twice into the same stitch again, through two loops twice, three loops left on your hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one. That's two, three, and four. Okay, so that's the four times, and then we need to do that fifth treble two together. Okay, 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, treble two together, one, two, three, four, chain one spaces. Okay, I'll put my hand behind it. I've lost my bit of blue card. Um, if I put my hand behind it, you can see it maybe a little bit more clearly. Okay, there we go. So then we're going to skip the next three stitches and don't forget this little one that's hiding in here because there's so many stitches in here it's easy to forget that we've got a stitch here. So one, two, three and then we're going to single crochet in the next 25 stitches and we're going to do that three times. One, two, three one, two, I'll catch up with you once I've done that 25 stitches. Okay, so I found a piece of pink card so now you can see more clearly. Okay, so we've got a single crochet, chain two, single crochet in our corner. We've then got 13 single crochet and then we start a mini repeat with a skip three and then in that next stitch, let me zoom in a weeny bit more, there we go, in that next stitch we've got treble two together, chain one, one, two, three, four times, and then another treble two together. Skip three stitches, and then single crochet in 25. Okay, so you need to do that three times. That's number one. So then you start again with the skip three stitches, do the treble two together group, skip three, 25 single crochet. Okay, um, once you've done that, you then skip the next three stitches and single crochet in the last 13, which will bring you up to the corner. Okay, so I will join you again at that point. Okay, so we've done that repeat three times. So we've got our treble two together group and 25 single crochet. One, two, and three times. Then we've skipped three stitches, again made a treble two together group, skipped three stitches, and then finally single crocheted in that last 13 stitches. Okay, so again the corner is a single crochet, chain two and single crochet. And now moving into the long side, we're sort of gonna do the same thing but slightly different number of stitches. Okay, so this time we're going to single crochet in 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. Okay, so our treble two together groups are the same. So we're going to skip three stitches, make our treble two together group here, skip three stitches, but this time we're going to single crochet in 22 stitches and we're going to repeat that four times. Okay, so let me just whiz that in and then I'll show okay, you. Okay, so for our long side, we've got 11 single crochet here, the same treble two together four and chain one four times, and then that fifth treble two together then the skip three, and this time just 22 single crochet here. Okay, so we're going to do that four times on this side. 
and then we'll skip the next three stitches, make another treble two together group, skip three stitches and single crochet in 11 to match with this end. So on the short side you have four sunbursts and on the long side you have five sunbursts. Okay, so go ahead and carry on all the way round and do that. Now that you've got the hang of it, just remember which side you're working on as to whether you need 13 and 25 or 11 and 22. Okay, and I will see you for the next round. Do double check your stitch count on round 58. Make sure that everything is as it should be. And then moving on the next couple of rounds and as we move on to uh, part five, you will find life much, much easier. So this is a really good point to absolutely make sure your stitch count is perfectly correct. Okay, so moving on to round 59, we're going to join, this can come out now, we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the last stitch of any long side. So that is the single crochet just before the chain two space. Okay, in the chain two corner space, we are going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. And then we are going to single crochet in the next 12 stitches. Okay, one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so you should have two stitches left. Now we're going to skip these next two stitches and then we've got a couple of repeats to do. Okay, so we are first of all going to front post double crochet around this next stitch which is our treble two together. We're going to make four double crochet in the next chain one space. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and you're going to do that four times. So we've got one, so it's front post double, whoops, that's it, and then four double crochet. So that's twice. Whoops. Front post double. She says, get my hook in a knot. There we go. Front post double. Four double crochet in that next chain one space. Front post double. And four double crochet. <coughs> Two, 
3 and 4. Okay, so front post double, four double crochet, four times. One, two, three, and four. And then front post double around the next stitch, which is our last treble two together. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet in the next 21. Okay, so we're going to skip these two and then 21 single crochet and as you work around again on your short side and long side your stitch counts are going to be slightly different 21 single crochet is going to leave us two stitches at the end, two single crochets at the end before the next um, treble two together group but we can just double check just whizzing along here let's have a little count up uh, two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen nineteen 20, 21. Okay, two stitches left, and then we basically repeat this again. Okay, so front post double around, you'll have two skipped stitches to begin with, front post double around the skinny cluster, four double crochet in the chain one space, repeat that four times and then a front post double around that last treble two together. Skip two stitches and single crochet in 21. Okay, so you're gonna do that three times. Then you're gonna skip two stitches and you will repeat this part again skip two stitches and single crochet in the last 12 stitches so the other end will match with this end. Okay, so I will meet up with you once I get to the end. Okay, so we've come along the short side and we've done our little repeats around our star bursts and our single crochets between. We've done that three times and then we repeat around the starburst here and then 11, no 12 sorry, 12 single crochet coming along here. All of the corners are single crochet, chain two, single crochet. On the long side, you're going to start with 10 single crochet, so you will also end with 10 single crochet. And your starburst repeats are exactly the same, but in between your starbursts here, this time you will have 18 single crochet, skipping the two at either end. Okay, so go ahead, just follow the pattern, just take it slowly. Again, make sure that you get the right stitches skipped and the right number of stitches, particularly in your starburst here. Work all the way round, and when you come back to the beginning here, you're going to join to this standing single crochet with a slip stitch, okay, because we're going to carry on with the same colour in the next round. Okay, and I will catch up with you then. Round 60, the last round of part four. Okay, we're going to chain one, single crochet in that same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then our repeat starts. So in the chain two corner space, we are going to single crochet 
chain two and single crochet. Okay, so there's lots of single crochets in this round, but also we're going to be doing ruffle stitches around our sunbursts. So you've already done ruffle stitch, but I'll just do a little reminder for you uh, so that you get this all absolutely perfect. So we're going to single crochet in the next 13 stitches, which will take us all the way along these single crochets that we made in the previous round. So 11, 12 and 13. Okay, so all the way along there and your next stitch is your front post double crochet. So if you remember the ruffle stitch it's front loop single and then around the same stitch front post half double and three front post doubles that's the third one then we're going to skip this next stitch here and we front loop single in that stitch. That is one ruffle stitch so it's made over three stitches and then we start again. Front loop single, front post half double and three front post doubles. Skip that next stitch, front loop single in the next stitch. Okay, so for each sunburst, you're going to have seven ruffle stitches. Okay, so the last ruffle stitch, the last front loop single crochet where you close the ruffle stitch, will fall in this front post double. Don't skip any stitches and then you're going to work single crochets in those 21 stitches. Okay and you're going to do that three times. You've then got another sunburst at the end here. Okay so this is a 21 single crochets that finishes the third repeat. You're then going to do your seven ruffle stitches around this sunburst and you will then single crochet in the next 13 stitches. Okay, I'll catch up with you once I've come all the way along the short side and I get to this next corner. Okay, so we've done the ruffle stitches single crochets, so there's seven ruffle stitches and 21 single crochets. We've done that three times. That brings us to this point. Then we've done the seven ruffle stitches again and then finished with 13 single crochet, which takes us up to the corner and our long side. So in the corner, Again, you're going to do single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're then going to single crochet in the 11 stitches, seven ruffle stitches, and 18 single crochets. Okay, and you're going to do that four times, and then again, you'll come to that last seven ruffle stitch group and 11 single crochet. Okay, so I'm sure you can follow the pattern and get your counts all right. When you're done, you're going to join to that first single crochet, fasten off, secure your ends, work all of your ends away, and that is part four 
completed. Okay, so thank you for crocheting along and I will see you for part five.